So now what I need to do is mark out for the um, tenon that's going to be on the back of this. I'm going to be using my stronghold jaws or my stronghold chuck with the number two jaws. So let me set that slightly larger than the opening. About two, and a, about two inches. Figure out where the center. You know what? I got an idea. I'll be back. All right. Let's see how this works. Um, so what I did was took a piece of wood and cut a section that would be great for a recess and a section that would be great for uh, the optimum size of tenon. So, and I also marked um, center point on each of these so that it makes it a bit easier. I don't know about you guys but I often find it hard with uh, either dividers or with a caliper to get it centered and I end up with two or three marks and then try to figure out which one was actually centered. So this should make it a bit easier. Yeah, that works. That is the minimum size tenon that will work. But you know what? I think I can make this better. Let's uh, let's go inside of the computer and see what I can do. So to build the gauge, I started off first in SketchUp. Let me start with a rectangle that is six inches by. One and a half inches. And we cut it up an inch. And then up two inches. So that is our basic shape. We've got two inches for the recess, or we have for the tenon, and then two and a half inches for the recess. So now all I'll do is just round over those corners. That's a bit tedious, so you may just want to fast forward a bit. It's not really necessary, it just I like the way it looks.
So the next step is then to save this as an SVG. Save this SVG. This is from line number two, Jaws. Okay. So now I need to open up Inkscape, which is my SVG editor. All I did here, <coughs> all I did here was um, add some text that will eventually be cut. So it's it's harder to do text in um, SketchUp than it is in Inkscape. But Inkscape has a real nice tool for adding CNC fonts. You notice this is not an not an outline of a letter. It's a simple path. Uh, so I grouped those together, and then once I had that saved, go over to MakerCam, which is a site for generating G-code based on SVG. And I have two paths here. Um, let's see. Okay. To it. Let's, let's start from scratch. So if we do operations. Let's do just the letters. We do a follow path. This is for letters. Eighth inch, or sixteenth inch drill bit. Let's go down two tenths. Doesn't have to be very big. Something high to point one. That's point zero three. B rate is thirty. And the outer one is a profile. Let me go down negative zero point two two. And then the outside, step down this point zero five, right thirty. If I do calculate all, and if you look, you can actually see what the what the CNC will do, it's going to go around this path and make it to, and it's going to go around the outside of this path. 
And what I can do is export. Oh, export. And then I've got a, what is then a, Chico file. And I can send that to my CNC. We're done on the computer. Let's um, let's go out to the garage. Okay, so I've got everything loaded up. Um, I transferred the um, G code file to this small little laptop that I've got hooked up to the CNC. So the thing to do now is to hit send. Interesting. Seem to have forgotten a little bit on the R. Oh well. Not a big deal. Just a little bit left. So let me uh, take it to the bandsaw, cut it out, and then I'll sand it and I'll be back. So I spent some time with the rasp uh, cleaning up the little fuzzies, um, slight little uh, couple of tenths of a, uh, a little ledge that was there all the way around it. And then hit it with some, uh, some sandpaper just to get rid of the fuzzies that pop up so I believe that is it so it should be good so I can this will be the uh, about the minimum size tenon that which leaves you a little bit of room uh, to 
squeeze down on it. So if you make a, a tendon that is that big, a bit more. And then in for the uh, for the recess, so back up. That diameter is just slightly larger than it closed in. So it, what you really want is the maximum amount of surface area touching. So if you made a recess that was this big, then you have to open your jaws up quite a lot. And then really the only points that you would have touching are one point on each jaw. So the, the idea of this is to really come up with the, the optimum tendon and the optimum recess for this chuck, for this set of jaws. And uh, if the next time I do one for my other sets of jaws, I'll probably, um, I don't know, use a different font or, or do a different, uh, a different depth for the, for the label or even leave the label out altogether and just write it on. That's probably what I'll end up doing. Um, otherwise, I think, I think it came out okay. So, thanks for sticking with me. If this is your first time here, please be sure to hit subscribe, uh, like, comment. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Take care.